Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to cover a mail merge in Microsoft Word, a minute to one mail merge. Here is the Microsoft support article. And I've already actually take, covered this before, 294686. And here's my YouTube video where I actually type in um, what's needed to do a minute to one mail merge or mail merge with grouping. But uh, it's quite cumbersome. And the only thing I can find to test that works is Graham Mayer. I'm on his website right now. So he wrote this. I didn't have anything to do with it. I'm just testing it. If you use it and it works, please donate to him. So instead of me sitting here reading this entire page to you, which is pretty lengthy, but he goes into detail about how it works. I'm going to see if it works. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom. Click here to download the add-in. It just made a zip file. There it is. Double click it. So I'm going all the way from scratch. Extract. Where do you want to put it? I'm going to put it in my documents. I'm going to make a new folder. Mail merge test. That sounds okay to me. Okay, I'll leave this running. Close that. So I'm in Documents, Mail Merge Tests. Uh, open up the README file. I'm not going to sit here and read this to you. What it says is to double click this. So I'm going to double click Mini to One, the EXE file. If you get this, hit More Info. Because if you hit Don't Run, it won't work. Run anyway. Feel free to read all that. Hit accept if you want to. It's going to make a add-in in my Word startup folder. I'm going to hit extract. Perfect. And then he gave us something to test. I'm going to go to examples. I have one Excel file and two Word documents. Just so you know, I'm going to jump back to his web page and go back to the top. This many to one mail merge, he did it with both email attachments and just letters in Word. I'm only covering the letters in Word. I'm not doing the email portion. So I've read through this a couple times, so I kind of know what I'm hopefully should do. Let's go see if it works. Before I do this, I want to get some test numbers together. So I'm going to start up this Excel file he has. It's opening in protected view, enable editing. All right. And here's why it's called a many to one. If you notice over here, I've got owners in row one, email. I'm not worried about the emails, but if I'm correct here, one, two, three. That same owner's listed five times. There's their mailing address. Column E has their city, column F has their state. But if you notice, I don't want to send them five letters because over in column H, one, two, there's the different addresses Le under legal description. See what else I have in here. That's different. I'm going to go take a look at the bottom. I got 34 total rows. So if I'm saying this right, there's one letter, two, A&M Investments is the second letter, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should end up with nine letters instead of 33 letters. So I'm going to close that. Don't save it. I'm going to open up the Word document he gave us. It says many to one test. That's the whole purpose of this video is to see if this works. It's going to open up Word in protected view. Enable editing. He's already got the letter filled out for us. And if you notice up top here, when I double click that EXE, 
That's why I have many to one mail merge up here. But you start off by going to mailings and unlike the Microsoft support document that I showed you which says to do a directory you want to keep this as letters. So click letters go find your recipients documents mail merge test there's my Excel file make sure it's sheet one make sure first row is checked hit OK just to test this, I'm going to hit edit recipient list. I hope to see some people in here, and I do. So that's so far so good. Now I can come over to many to one mail merge. Start the merge process. The mail merge main document must be saved. Hit continue. After you hit continue, Okay, that popped up, good. I'm on the first tab that says start, hit hide this box. Uh, perfect, merge destination. The question is when I'm done, those nine letters, where do I wanna put them? And how do I wanna save them? I can do PDFs, but I wanna actually put them as Word documents. So I should end up with nine Word files when I'm done. My The field that's always going to be the same was owner in that Excel file. I'll show you that in just a second. Let's make sure this works first. Um, I'm going to open this up one more time. It should say read only because it's in use. It does. So that's column B. That's what's staying consistent is the name of the owner. I'm just trying to see what I need to put in here. Minimize that. I see property ID down here in the back, address one, address two. Okay, so property ID is going to be a child field. Address one, city, state, zip. Legal description is in this table down here. I believe that should take care of it. But the key thing is that key field, what's what is keeping everything, each letter unique and its owner. And then what do you want to name these Word documents? Please. It says select the field name field. So what do I want to name my Word documents? I'm going to name it whatever the owner is. Looks, looks good so far. Hit continue. Uh, where do I want to put these? I'm going to make a new folder. Mail merge. Letters. Test 1. I hope I end up with nine Word documents in this when I'm done. And it's, oh, it's going through the 34 records, which is good. Just let it run. By the way, I'm running Windows 10, 64-bit. Um, not that it should matter. I don't think it should matter even what version of Word you're in. He's got the Word document in compatibility mode. I'm looking up the top of my screen. It says compatibility mode. But it appears to be working. If it works, it's actually really cool. I saw some people saying they couldn't get it to work, so I thought I'd give it a shot today. It's a nice Sunday here in Atlanta, but... Okay, the documents have been saved, and that's the folder I did make for them. So let's go see if they're right now. Um, I'm going to hit yes. Let's go see. Documents. The folder that I put them in was called under documents mail merge. Nope. Where did I put them? Oh, MM letters test one. My bad. Okay, I got nine documents. I just highlighted them. There's nine. Let's go see if this first one's right. I got preview turned on over here to the right, but I'm open up one of them just to see. Let's open up this document.
Uh, okay, I see what I did wrong. So I'm going to run through it. I see what I did wrong. The owner is already in there with the address. So I didn't need to put the address, but that part I did need to do. So one more time, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So you actually get to watch me make a mistake here. So I'm going to highlight these and hit delete. Hit yes. I don't want those. They're no good. That was my output. So you get to watch me screw this up. If I would have, okay, mailings, start mail merge letters, recipient shouldn't have changed. I just hit edit list. There they are. That's still good. Start mail merge process. Hit continue. Wait till that screen appears, hopefully. There it is. Hide. Destination. I want Word documents. The owner's unique. Property. I'm looking down here in the background. It had property ID, legal description, acres, value. I want the letters by owner, hit continue, it probably remembered that I put them in that folder, mail merge test, let it run again. Sorry about the mistake, like I said, I'm, I'm testing this also for the first time. I did read through the instructions he has twice, which while it's running I'll pull them back up. I did read through this twice and made my, I printed and made myself some notes, so and it's pretty it's pretty spot on. Legal description, property ID. Yeah. Almost done. Hope everyone's having a good day. I could speed this up with Camtasia, but um, I don't feel like edit, editing this video. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Yes again. I don't know why I'm hitting Yes, but I'm hitting Yes. Documents. MM letter 1. Still got nine items. Open up A and B developer. Come on. Oh, that looks good right there. One, two, three, four, five property IDs. Five different addresses, because if you notice, after... TR trail 10, 12, 16 to 11. Let's crank up Excel real quick. This is the read only document, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to delete that. That's the address for the owner, which I screwed. Here we go 10, 12, 16 to 11. 10, 12, 16 to 11. Close that document. Let's test one more right here. Let's try that one. Let me see what this one says. Uh, it's working. Very cool, very sweet. So you can create your own document. I did read in the instructions where it said make sure, I think this thing's got to still be sheet one. So, so got to hand it to them. That's really sweet and it works. Hopefully this video helps explain how to use it. That's all I made it for. Have a good day. Thank you.